Inshallah, my Good afternoon to your audience. Right. Um, we go and get straight into it. Today's topic is we are not Africans. Right. There's two reasons. Two um, reasons what has caused black on black crime. One is poverty, and two is not knowing who your God is. So right. So the the caller who called us and and tried to say poverty is not the reason. It had something called Black Wall Street in 1920, I believe. Right? It also had a Great Depression in the 1920s. When it had the Great Depression, black people was not falling. We were still making it and thriving. We were surviving. And the white people was going to hell. They was going to poverty because it was a Great Depression. And the Irish people started to bum up Black Wall Street. So we had black businesses, black schools, um, black mm. hospitals. We had everything black, black train station, everything that was black, you name it. We, we had it. And the Irish people, who was white people, bum up Black Wall Street. And you know what the government said? It is because the Irish people was going through poverty. That is why they was doing that. And he said nothing was wrong with it. It was understood why they bomb up Black Wall Street because it was going through poverty and you know what the, the government did he gave them jobs he put them in the police mm -hmm. that is what had happened so those say poverty is not one of the cause why it has so much a crime amongst black people poverty is one of the cause when people don't have no jobs or when people just go into hell it does have crime and one of the reasons why it has black on black crime is because of poverty Trinidad is so rich. Everybody could get at least a hundred thousand dollars in their bank account. That is how much money flowing through Trinidad. And you telling me the government can't do that? Trinidad have plenty money. Everybody could get the rich and the poor could get a hundred thousand dollars in their bank account in the morning. But people don't have to be that. But but on a daily basis, if you're driving the um the um the, the labas right now. You know, and I went there, they had to throw some rubbish. And if you see how the, the people was gaining on, on that shock, just to survive, to get something to go and sell, to survive. That is poverty. You understand? Know, Nobody don't want to live that lifestyle, to act like animals and fighting each other to get something to survive. Nobody don't want to live so, but it's poverty is what have we gained on so. So one of the cause is why there's so much of crime amongst black people is poverty. Two is not knowing who your God is. And today we are going to show who your God is, black people. Your God is not um, Allah. Your God is not the, the white Jesus in church. Your God is not um, Krishna, which is the Hindu God and them. Right? Your God is not Buddha or, or Horus and Cyrus in Africa. Your God is the God of Israel. That's and right. once we could understand that, it will have no more black on black crime. But again, the churches and them won't teach that. But we're going to teach that today. All right? So you can many Babylon to back to. It's the Babylon, this is the book, the Babylon from Babylon to Timbuktu. Right, so we read it from, from Babylon to Timbuktu. Mm -hmm. This is a book written by um, Rudolf R. Windsor. He was a scholar of many things. He traveled the world and got archaeology and history. Right, and then he got all his, his history, his evidence, archaeology, and put it together and write a book. I don't travel the world. This man here, um, Rudolf R. Windsor, he traveled the world and got information. And this is one of the information that he got that matches up with the Bible. So go ahead. Right. This is page, this is page 84 from the, on Babylon to Timbuktu, second paragraph, right? In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son, Titus put an end to the Jewish state. Right, so in 70 AD, they put an end to the Jewish state, right? Now, 70 AD is, is um, um, after the death of Christ, right? Christ came to do what he had to do, right? And that was to die for black people's sins, right? And for the people who just say that Christ is not real, it have a book that white people wrote called Medieval Europe. And in that book, it said that Christ is a fanatical revolutionist. Right right of a well of, of the well established order of rome so in other words the black man who was called christ he was a troublemaker mm -hmm. that's why they call him um, a fanatical revolutionist right white people wrote that book go and look it up medieval europe right so yeah go ahead continue in 70 a.d general vespasian and his son titus put an end to the jewish state 
with great slaughter mm -hmm. during the period of the military governors of Palestine. Many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Mm -hmm. Many atrocities. Go ahead. So it wasn't just like the, the commander, the lock we up. Well, you know, they, they just um, shoot we. It was, it was so humane. Right? It, it was, everything was gruesome. Mm -hmm. Right? Many atrocities. Go ahead. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. Right, so over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from um, Roman persecution and slavery. That is it, Anna? Class, sir. No, go ahead. More. The go ahead. slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Right, so the slave markets was full of black Jewish slaves. Go ahead. That, that is it, Anna? Yes, sir. All right, so... Give me the one in Joel. For sure. Joel chapter 1 verse 3. Right? So this, this scholar, he found out that the black people that we have today that is scattered across the earth is not Africans. Right. We is really Jews. Right. Thank you. Right? We is Israelites by blood. Right. You understand? That's what we have here. And I know some people as um, they just believe in DNA testing. Right? But DNA testing is not accurate. Right. And how can you trust something that is not accurate? Mm hmm you understand that DNA tests are not accurate it, if you if it have five DNA labs and you go in those five different DNA labs you'll get five different results mm -hmm. so how right. can you trust something that is not accurate right so DNA testing is not accurate you, you can't um, believe in DNA testing right right but Mali he is white why but Mali he, he dark skin but Mali is a dark skin just like me but his father was a 61 year old white british man right. and the bible say you are what your father is right so that classifies as skin complexion does not make you who you are mm -hmm. right not because i look in dark skin means i's an african you understand because then we could say everybody is african you understand but then we could go in as far and say i's are east indian mm -hmm. because I, it has some east indians dark skin just like me right but your skin complexion does not make you who you are that is an ignorant statement. Right. And it's only slaves that fight off a skin complexion. Mm -hmm. It's where your bloodline comes from. That is what makes you who you are. Right. Right? Um, go ahead. The book of Joel chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. You shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Right now we're in captivity. All right? Go ahead, because we was made to rule the planet Earth. Black people was made to rule the earth. But because we sin against the Lord, we're not ruling the earth anymore. And when I say black people, I just want to say blacks and Hispanics, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. So the people in, in um, Arima, where's the first peoples in Arima? That's right. Them is the Native Indians. They are Israelites. Right. The Hispanics, the Venezuelans that are coming across here, they are Israelites. Correct. Right, but the again the white man separated us and make us feel well. You from Venezuela, you not a um, Israelite. You mm -hmm. you use a um, native Indian, you not a Israelite. Mm -hmm. But we gathered all the history and evidence and found out blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians we are Israelites. Right. So when I say black people, I I mean blacks, Hispanics, and the native Indians. Right. Verse two. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Josaphat. Right, so the Lord said he will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is talking about World War Three. Mm -hmm. For World War Three in come yet. I know some people that say World War Three here, but there are just Christians who don't know the Bible. World War Three ain't even rich yet. Mm -hmm. Right? When World War Three comes, trust me, the whole world will shake. Mm -hmm. World War Three ain't rich yet. Because the kind of bombs and ammunition it had in World War Two. You could imagine what it had now. Mm -hmm. So World War Three ain't rich yet. Right, but when you say you gather all nations, you talk about all the races and put them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. The valley of Jehoshaphat is in the Middle East. Right, we see all them wars going on right now. Mm -hmm. The Middle East is the valley of Jehoshaphat. That that is where World War Three will begin. Mm -hmm. Right, and will plead with them there for my people. And he will plead with them there for for his people. His people is the Israelites, mm -hmm. who is us, black people. Right, that is the Lord's people. How does the Lord plead with somebody? Not by sitting down in a room and having a dialogue and saying, all right, um, what are you going to do? You're going to give you um, two parcels of land and, and I, I won't punish you. 
you go say now, nah, give me ten pass la la la, and I won't punish you now. Nah. The Lord will plead with people so. The Lord does destroy you. That's how He does plead with you. Mm -hmm. So if you just smoke weed, and smoking weed is wrong, mm -hmm. the Lord is going to get schizophrenia mm -hmm. until you stop smoke weed. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're smoking weed and you know your heart just had a race off because you're smoking weed so much, the, the Lord who knows He might make your heart pump out so much. You understand? He might just say, you know what? Mm -hmm. This this pain in my heart it ain't feeling right. And the doctor tell me stop smoke weed. I go stop smoke weed. That's how the Lord does plead with you by destroying you until you stop. That's right. Well, I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, mm -hmm. whom they have scattered among the nations. Right, we scattered all across the earth. We we in black people in China, we in India, we in um, Ethiopia, we in America, we all over the earth. The Israelites scattered all over the earth. Right, go ahead. And parted my land mm -hmm. with street. And they have cast lots for my people. Mm -hmm. And so, have given mm -hmm. go ahead. And have given a boy for an harlot. And sold a girl for wine. Right, so so it said they have cast lots for my people. Now white people rich and they have all the land, all the, the money, the wealth. Right? And, and all that land that they have. We all know land is money. Right. But what good is is land? If it mm -hmm. does not have slaves, right? That is why the white man wanted slaves, so we mm -hmm. could work on the land, so he could get money. Mm -hmm. The land don't mean nothing if it don't have slaves, mm -hmm. right? So good that they may drink. Mm -hmm. Verse four. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Mm -hmm. What have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Tyre and Zidon is a rich port in Africa. Right. It's a rich port in Africa. Go and look it up. Mm -hmm. Good. And all the coast of Palestine, mm -hmm. will you render on? Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Right. So a recompense is like repay. So the Lord is saying, you know, how if you repay me, how am I supposed to repay you now? Right. So good. Verse five. Because you have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Right, my silver, my gold, and my goodly pleasant things. So, it is a twofold, right? The Israelites they took they took all our belongings and carried it into the Middle East, carried all over the, the place, mm -hmm. and built up their kingdom, right? And also on top of that, we is gold and silver, black mm -hmm. people, right? So we was the gold and silver who was doing work for them, for them to get money. The slaves then, good. Verse six: The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians? Right, so the children of Judah and Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians? The Grecians is white people. Right. So it was saying the Africans, the Tyrian Zidon, right. we sold, um, they took the Israelites and sold them mm -hmm. to white people, who is the Grecians. Right. So right there is a transatlantic slave trade. Right. Right. We ran across into africa right you're going to get into that now give me give me one in matthew one time matthew For sure right okay. we black people ran across into africa running from the, the roman prosecution the africans saw us mm -hmm. and i know what the africans do because they know we was different to them because why the, the laws that we had following the bible we was acting different to them we was looking different mm -hmm. even though we had the same skin complexion mm -hmm. right like beard the Lord say mustn't mark your beard. Mm -hmm. The Africans used to mark the beard, mm -hmm. right? The Lord said, "Don't don't ball off, don't ball off your arm, your head, right. right? Unless it's some some nature and you have male pattern baldness. Mm -hmm. Don't ball off your head. The Africans used to shave off the head. Mm -hmm. The Africans used to do certain things that we never used to do. Right. So that is why, even though we was dark skinned like the Africans, the Africans knew we was different to them, and then they captured us." Put us in dungeons with the Israelites, and then the white man come, and the Africans sold us. Um, the, the Africans sold us to the white man. Right, so, so go ahead. Come go. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15. When he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Right, so the abomination of desolation is when the Romans was coming up against Jerusalem in the time of Christ. Right. Right, and they will take over our altars and you know, sacrifice swines, Flush. right, just to mm -hmm. disrespect us. Right, so the white people coming to Jerusalem, they're doing all sorts of things to disrespect us and taking over the whole place, Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. That is why in the New Testament, white people were we was under the rulership of white people because white people took over 
the Israelites in the New Testament. I say, I'm good. Right. I say in 59. Yeah, go answer. Yeah, go ahead. Whoso read it, let him understand. Verse 16. Right, read it. Go ahead. I'm 15 again. So well. Come on, come on. When he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation mm -hmm. spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. All right, stand in the holy place. Now, okay, Christian believe when it says stand, it means to stand and fight against the Romans and them, the abomination of desolation when it come. Right, but that is not what it means. Christ wasn't, Christ wasn't saying that. Mm -hmm. What Christ was saying is when you see the evil standing in the holy place, mm -hmm. the abomination of desolation is, is here. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying here. Right? right. So we go in verse 16 now. For sure. Then let it then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Right. So let them which is in Judea, meaning we who is in our homeland, right. run into the mountains. I will say flee to the mountains. Right. Right? Because this is not the time to fight. That's why Christ said run into the mountains. Right. Now it's not the time to fight because the most high has given us a loss because of our sins. Right. So because we sinned against the Lord, if we had stood up and fight against the Romans, we would have lost. Mm -hmm. So that's why Christ said to run into the mountains. Right. When you look at a map, Israel is here and um, Africa is over here. It's mm -hmm. just a border that's separating Israel and Africa. Right. So the mountains Christ was talking about was in Africa. The Israelites ran across into Africa. Go and get a map and watch it. Right. right, there's borders that is, there's, um, I think it's America is on the same landmass with Mexico. Yes. Right. Correct. America is on the same landmass with Mexico, mm -hmm. but there's a border separating them. Right. Right, Mexicans speaking a different language to Americans. There's mm -hmm. a border which is separating them. Right. The same landmass, but there's a border separating them. So you can know it's two different countries. We are not Africans. Right. right? That is a lie. Um, tiny more now, that? No, also. I'm giving the next one now. Which one? Um, Jeremiah 12 and 9. For sure. Come on, go. Alright. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12 and verse 9. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. Mm -hmm. the my, my inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. Right. Right. So the prophet Jeremiah is letting you know that, hey, skin complexion don't make you who you is. Mm -hmm. Not because you dark skin like an African means he's African. Mm -hmm. Why do East Indians don't call themselves Africans? Right. Yeah? Because the East Indians know where their bloodline comes from. It's mm -hmm. because we are so much slaves. We are such slaves. We just fighting over skin complexion. Mm -hmm. Now we, we, we dark skin. We just like the Africans and them. You understand? We is not Africans. It's where your bloodline comes from. Mm -hmm. If I take um, an apple seed and I plant it in England, what right. go grow? Now apple? Mm -hmm. If I take the same apple seed in England and I plant it in Mexico, right. what will grow? An apple, mm -hmm. right? Is where your seed come from, where your bloodline come from. That's right. That is what makes you who you are. Even though you're born in England or you're born in Mexico, it doesn't mean there's a Mexican or you mean there's an Englishman. Is where your bloodline comes from. And the East Indians, because the East Indians came here in Trinidad and them was not slaves, the East Indians know that them is not Africans. They know that they come from India, them as Indians. Right. But we who are slaves, black people, we call ourselves Trinidadians, we call ourselves Venezuelans, we call ourselves all sorts of things. Right? And this is why the Bible is so so true and so powerful and a comedy ISPK. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm taking up any pastor who wants to do a debate. The number is 290-5173. If all of feel all of know the Bible. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know come and let us do our debate. And I don't want to do a debate over YouTube or Facebook. I mm -hmm. want to come in your congregation. Mm -hmm. And I want to do a debate with you in the congregation. That's right. Let the whole congregation see me debating you. Right? And the Lord will, will, will shine the light on whoever speaking the truth and who is not speaking the truth. So you understand? Know and that is it. So don't, don't feel shame now. Now is the time for the talk. Dial 290-5173 and, and let us come in that congregation, wherever it is. It could be in Point, it could be in, in Grandy, it could be wherever. Mm -hmm. We come in. We come in that church and we want to do our debate. Right. And we will prove to all that all other Christian leaders is, is false prophets. All don't know the Bible. Mm -hmm. So let's call the number and, and if you feel you know the Bible, well, right. We'll take it up now. Mm -hmm. Right? 290-5173. Give me the one and a half. 
Babylon to Timbuktu, one to the tree. One to the tree, have it here. Mm-hmm. Right, this is the book of this is the um the Babylon to Timbuktu, page one thirty three. Right, we're going back in the Babylon to Timbuktu, page a hundred and thirty three. Right. right. Before Doctor Godby published his book, The Lost Tribes, a myth. Rabbi Matthew organized a Hebrew congregation in 1918. Right, so read it again. Before Dr. Godby published his book, The Lost Tribes, a Myth. Right, so Dr. Godby wanted to publish a book called The Lost Tribes is a Myth. Mm-hmm. Right, you might be reading the Bible and saying, nah, that, that Lost Tribes, that is a myth. Right, go ahead. Rabbi Matthew organized, organized a Hebrew congregation in 1918. Right, he organized a Hebrew congregation in 1918. Go ahead. And proclaimed that the black people of the United States and the West Indies... Right, he said that the black people in the United States... Right, now remember, these are scholars, you know? Mm-hmm. I is not no scholar. Mm-hmm. This is history book I read from here. The Bible don't tell me already that the, the Israelites run to the mountains. The mountains of Africa. Right. Now we have scholars who travel, who will tell us that, hey, what the Bible saying is true. Mm-hmm. So continue. It says they say that people in the United States and, the West and in the West Indies mm-hmm. go ahead. are the original black Hebrews. Are the original black Hebrews. Mm-hmm. So then my question is this who is them white Jewish people they know who claim it to be Jews? Mm. Who's them? Mm. If we the black people here is Israelites. Right. And why they have us calling ourselves Africans. Mm. You understand? Them know the truth. And that's why they took um Whoopi Goldberg off of the air. Right. But she spoke the truth. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. And the, the same thing with this um comedian um um his name um Dave who Chicago. was in Mariah Carey. Yeah. Yeah. The one who was in Mariah Carey. Or um Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. They just listen to the ISUPK. Right. And then then them will be do their own research and say, yeah, but that is true, boy. So mm-hmm. they know the truth. We are not African, so stop calling yourself African. If all I wanna see black on black crime stop. One is poverty, and mm. two, stop calling yourselves of another race. Right. Right, give me one in, in Acts with Paul. For sure. This is the book of Acts, chapter, mm. chapter 21 and verse 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Mm-hmm. Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Right, so, so the chief captain asked him, Paul, um, can you, you speak Greek? How, how you can speak Greek? You understand? Remember, Paul was not born in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. He was born outside of Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. So he's saying, how you, you can speak Greek or you can speak Greek? Go ahead. Verse 38. Art not thou that Egyptian? So the, the chief priest saying, Art thou not that Egyptian? Why did he say Paul was an Egyptian? Is because Paul was dark-skinned just like the Africans. Right. His skin complexion was just like the Africans. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that's why he said, well, are you not the Egyptians? Just like today, we dark skin, so we say we're Africans. Mm-hmm. Well, let me hear what Paul say now. Good. Which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness 4,000 men that were murderers. Mm-hmm. Good. Verse 39. But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus. All right. So Paul now, when the chief priest said, aren't you am? Um, Egyptian. African or Egyptian? Mm-hmm. Paul said, No, I'm not no African. Don't call me that. Right. Not because I'm dark skin. I'm dark skin means I'm African. Paul mm-hmm. said, I'm a Jew. Mm-hmm. That is where my bloodline comes from. Mm-hmm. So black people stop calling all themselves Africans. Right. Y'all have nothing to do with Africa. Even the Africans and them know mm-hmm. that they have nothing to do with us. Right. That's why they have apologized for slavery. That's right. You understand? They have articles going all over where the Africans are apologizing for slavery mm-hmm. because they know that we are not Africans. Right. We are Israelites. Sure. We are two different races. Go ahead. That's right. And if I may say, like, mm-hmm. the, the rich of our society should take example of, of Paul here. Right? Paul, as he's saying in the same verse here, they should, they should read it for themselves. Acts 29, verse 39. Right? 21, verse 39. A city of Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city. So mm-hmm. Paul had money. They come from, from a, a background where they had wealth and all of that. Mm-hmm. It's just in this society, you're thinking that, you know what I mean? The only governance, the only thing you could do is under the oppression and under the influence of these oppressors that have been selling out and have been pushing all kind of different garbage philosophy on the people. They say Africanism. Every time what well, Emancipation Day and Independence Day come out, they, they, they dress up in somebody else's clothing, somebody else's custom. Mm-hmm. Like now we call it Jenny Follow and Paul mm-hmm. and them, they, look, they had belly. You follow? And they know how to organize and all of that. If you want to know how to do that, again, the number is... Yeah, two nine zero five one seven three. Now let me make sure and dial that number. 
If you want to debate, if you want to ask any questions, put it in the Bible. If you want to feel or know the Bible, we will show you that you do not know the Bible. Nobody has the authority to teach the Bible except the ISUPK. Everybody is going to confuse you. You understand? So, black man, if all really want to stop black on black crime, the mothers and fathers out there, if all really want to stop black on black crime, teach all the sons and daughters who their God is. Mm -hmm. there, there's not no God of, of the Christian church. There's not no God of, of Allah or um, Buddhism mm -hmm. or Krishna. Mm -hmm. You understand? Or, or Africans, which is Horus and Cyrus. Right. That is not their God. Once they know that they are Israelites, they'll serve the God of Israel. Right. Right? That is the only one power on the earth. Like, like everybody have a God, except black people. Right. <laughs> we are the only race who are not supposed to have a God. Mm. The, the East Indians come with a God, which is Krishna. Right. We follow in Krishna. The Muslims come with a God, which is Allah. Mm -hmm. We follow in Allah. Mm. The white man come with um, Christianity, which have none to do with the Bible. Right. We follow in this white Jesus. Do you understand? Um, well, again, Buddhism. Mm -hmm. We follow in um, Buddha. Mm. When did the Chinese come with, with their God? Mm. So who is our God? Mm. We just following all these people's gods, but we don't have a God on our own. Mm. Think about it. Those other races is, is have nothing to do with us. Um, give me the one with, um, I think it's 147. For sure. Alright, so it sounds 147. 19 to 20, right? Mm -hmm. If you are in Okay. So we opening up the lines and take some calls. We just literally have about two minutes. Okay. Psalms 147 verse 19. Mm -hmm. If you are in call, they can take it one time. Yeah. No Go problem. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Psalms 147 verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right. So th this is the Lord talking here now. The Lord showed his laws, statutes, and judgment, which is the Bible, mm -hmm. unto Israel. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 20, he had not dealt so with any nation. So he didn't show his laws unto any other race of people because your nationality is a race. Right. He didn't show it so to any nation, only to Israel. Go ahead. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Right. And as for his judgments, judgments is the punishments. Mm -hmm. They have not known them. Right. That is why when you see black people mm -hmm. doing something um, wrong against the Lord, mm -hmm. we is the ones who just get punished, mm -hmm. not them other races. Right. You understand? Them, them, them other races could smoke weed. Them could do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. The Lord will not punish them. Right. If we start to smoke weed and take drugs or do something that the Lord said not to do, oh. we go be the one with, with diabetes, cancer, the number one people with, with schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. We go be the ones getting punished because mm -hmm. the laws of the Bible was only written for us. Right. Just like how the Hindus and them have the Bhagwan Gita, mm -hmm. that is for them. Right. Right, the, the, the Quran is for the Arabs, that is for them. Mm -hmm. Right, well, the Bible was only written for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Mm -hmm. That is who all the God is. Stop calling all the African, or there's not no Africans, or there's Israelites. And we here in the Caribbean is from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right, that is who we here in the, in the, um, the tribe of Caribbean is. Under the right, right? So, um, that's good, it. yes, sir. Yeah, I haven't seen a callers yet, but we have two minutes, so you guys could go ahead. Right. Anything to say on the Yeah, definitely tune in to Black Watch with Commander and General Yana. Mm -hmm. But if you want to understand why our people are in the condition that we're in, right, and the plague that faces us, and the, the set of, you know, tic, um, what do you call it, tit for tat, and them different, all, all kind of different things we face and plaguing us, understand the mind of our person, how Commander and General Yana and the men around, and the, the generals, the men, the higher ranking captains, the officers, continue to break it down and show you exactly why us as a people, you know what I mean, let's be so messed up. For sure. Right? Why well, us as a people so messed up? So you want to tune in tight and understand the, the, the plots, but you don't see on a regular, um, we call it regular basis on the on mainstream media and all of that. They don't teach it to you. If you want to understand these things and call in, maybe ask a question and all of that, that is where you get further understanding of the clarity of what goes on in society. That happens every Monday. Right, Wednesday and Friday and Saturdays, right? At 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because we are hour behind or hour in front of them right now, that would be 10 o'clock our time in Trinidad, right? So you want to tune in to Black Watch always, right? And of course, the number for ISPK Trinidad and Tobago is 2905173. Ask the questions, you know, probably assistant for something. You're probably thinking about a project in your community to do, that type of stuff. And you want to get some assistance or guidance in terms of how to do it properly, reach out to us, you know? ISPK again, Trinidad and Tobago, 2905173. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, you forget, you forget, you forget. right, this is the book of, this is the same Babylon, the Timbuktu, page 90, right? Uh, the black Jews had an advantage over the African tribes. Mm -hmm. 
They carry their culture, history, laws, and written records with them. Right, so, so we had an advantage over the African tribes because we carried our laws with us. So we was acting different to the Africans. Mm -hmm. So the Africans automatically knew that even though we dark skin, we was different to them because we was acting different to them because we was following the Bible. Right. This assured them a constant precedent for the development of a higher social organization. Right, so we was at a higher social organization because of that. No. Give me the scripture, if you could. For sure. 4 and 5, Deuteronomy. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Mm -hmm. go verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding. 26 in the sight seconds. Of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right, so once we can follow the laws of the Bible, God is saying that all these other races, the Chinese, the East Indian, Ten who, seconds. the white man, they go watch us and say, wait now, these, these black people here, they're powerful and mightier than us. So stop calling ourselves Africans. Mm -hmm. The views expressed are not necessary.